The first two signals in this video are actually audible for most CD players. What you'll hear in the soundtrack is induced directly off the coils by holding the microphone near. This first signal is the tracking error signal, and it contains the servo feedback that keeps the head following the groove, or pits, and is also used to rapid seek. Here's some seeking. Going to hit play. So it does very little now, except the noise you see is sort of dithering as it corrects for the eccentricity of the spiral. This next one is the focus air signal, and it's fed to a voice coil on the lens, much like that in a speaker or a hard disk. Its purpose is to keep the beam focused on the pits and lands. The pulsating you just saw was correction for the warpage of the disk, and probably irregularities in the surface layer. This signal, usually referred to as raw EFM or RF, is the actual raw data coming off of the photodetector. It looks like a solid block here because the data rate is around 4.2 megabits and my oscilloscope is scanning at 30 hertz to match the video camera. You can determine something about the pressing quality by the amplitude and variations of this signal. This pressing is a little dodgier than the last one, and you can see that the overall amplitude is a little lower. At some points the data drops out completely, but it's not enough to affect the sound. As I got hit by a car, there was a message from me. As I went through the windshield, if I stop the disc, it turns to DC. This one is a dual disc with a DVD layer and a technically illegal CD layer, and you can see that the level is even lower. That's one of the reasons why these don't work in old players so much. This next one is a CDR in fairly good shape. You can see that the level's about the same. I should note that this level has nothing to do with the actual recovered audio level. It's just the data coming off the disc. This next one is a very scuffed up CDR that was of poor quality to begin with. I hate Memorex. And you'll see in here that it's lost enough of the data that it can't reconstruct it anymore. The 
the audio sounds very fuzzy. That particular disc sounded much worse before I cranked up the uh, tracking and focus gains. All of these adjustments are found in most uh, component CD players. This, this one is from 87, it's a Denon, and I pulled it out of the trash. has a very nice 16-bit uh, Burr Brown DAC and a four times over sampling filter. And it's amazing what people throw away. 